Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a mix tape or DJ mix or mashup in Logic. I'll show you step by step how to do that in Logic Pro X. Coming up after the bumper. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters because of their support I can make this video. Thank you. In my previous videos, I talked about how to make a mixtape live versus mixing in software. And I discussed in that same video, mixing techniques for DAWs. I made also a video about making a mixtape in Studio One and making a mixtape in Ableton Live. But in this video, I'm gonna dive into Logic Pro X. Let's take a look. I'm using the two track approach. So every song is in track A or track B and you mix between them. Therefore, I make four audio tracks, not MIDI tracks, audio tracks, by double clicking on the empty space below an existing audio track. The first for previewing and cutting up a new song without any effects applied. The next two for mixing between songs, track A and B. And the fourth for adding extra audio effects like risers and bass drops. Make sure that the tracks are stereo. Then I add a limiter to the master channel. Then I'll place an equalizer on each track. The stock plugin of Logic will do the trick just fine, but I love Pro-Q. I'll figure out the tempo that I want to do the mix in and set the project tempo to that speed. Make sure that it is in the middle of the fastest track and the slowest. This to prevent that you have to stretch or compress too much that will degradate the audio quality. I use Recordbox to see how fast the tracks are and in which key. Then I drag the tracks in and make sure that they are in the right tempo. To do this double click on the waveform. Go to File, Functions and Time and Pitch Machine. Now set the source and destination tempo and click on the process button. I'll align the track to the grid. So the first beat of a bar is on the first beat of the beat grid in Logic. You can use the metronome to help you. If you want to change the bar but stay beat matched to the grid, use snap regions to relative value option. Now align the second song with the first. If the match is to your liking, press A to go to automation mode. We are gonna automate the volume and high and low cut filters and extra effects with plugins like echo, delay and reverb. To add points, click on the yellow line, in this case the volume, and drag the point to the desired value. What you can automate, you can change in the pull down menu on the left side of the track. To prevent switching, it is useful to add more automation lanes so you can see multiple automations at once. You can do this by clicking on the plus icon on the left side of an automation lane and choose the parameter you want to automate. One word of caution here, if you decide to remove an automation lane, you only remove the visibility of the automation. The automation itself is still intact. After this mix is complete, add a third song to track A. It's easier to exit automation mode by pressing A again and go back into automation mode if the song is aligned. Repeat this process multiple times and change from track A to track B and B to A, like you would do on a regular DJ mixer with two players, until your mashup or mixtape in Logic Pro X is done. Subscribe to my mailing list for new videos in your inbox every week about DJing and producing. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!